The New York Jets and the Denver Broncos also struggled. And I, I'm going to say this, too, because we're going to wrap up in, in just a sec. I know I've had you all for a good amount of time. But I, I'm going to just say this before we actually go. The New York Jets um, and the Denver Broncos, we witnessed this game. And, and the Broncos won by one point, 10 to 9. Low scoring, low scoring game here. And, and I just got to say, bro, the Jets are an unserious team. This is a very unserious team, bro. First of all, you got so many problems going on within the locker room. It's clearly all translating onto the field. You can try and put that stuff behind you, but it's showing time after time. Aaron Rodgers doesn't get along with the head coach. It's clear they're bickering back and forth at each other. Every press conference chance they get, they're talking shit about each other. And that's just not the way you do it, bro. I don't know who's being the sassy pants here and who's being the one that's you know crying about every little thing some people say oh it's Aaron Rodgers he's the drama queen but I mean truthfully we don't know because let's look how petty the front office for the for the New York Jets are it's been week it's been multiple weeks you had all of training camp it's week four in the NFL regular season and the Jets still have not figured out what the hell they're gonna do with Hassan Riddick how haven't you figured this out? And how don't you have this resolved? This is a guy who's a key piece and could be a key factor on your defense. But instead, you're letting them stick around and, and, and you're not trying to get anything resolved. He wants a paycheck. He wants to get paid. You think he's going to go out there, risk his health, risk injury so you don't have to pay him? No, it doesn't work like that. Both sides are being petty, and, and I feel like there's every reason to believe that it's even worse than what we know in that locker room. From right now, when things are coming out in media and it's, it shows the, how frustrated people are with each other, that says a lot. That says it's been boiling for a long time. You don't just come out of nowhere and drop five diss songs about a person like Kendrick Lamar and Drake. No, it's been boiling for a long time. Seeing... Seeing uh, um, Robert Saleh and, and Aaron Rodgers go back and forth all the time in, in media these past few four weeks has been ridiculous. We've seen Aaron Rodgers have a, a, a whole burst out on the sideline uh, uh, with the head coach and all of that stuff. So it's just it just shows, man, this this organization is, is struggling right now. And they're supposed to be so good. They're supposed to have so much hype. They're supposed to be living up to these standards. But I don't think we're going to see any of that. I don't think we're going to see any of that. I think this team is going to be the same as they were last year, even though they have Aaron Rodgers now. And at, at some point, they'll probably find a rhythm. But it, it's getting ridiculous, bro. It's getting ridiculous.